Good morning everyone. My name is Sanya Agarwal. I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. The topic of our capstone project is IoT based IV monitoring system and our group number is 37. My name is Vinish Pushkar. I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. My name is Ria and I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. My name is Muskan and I am from Electronics and Communication Branch. The objective of our project is to deliver a low-cost and safe IV drip system in the healthcare. In order to achieve this objective, we have used a HX711 weighing sensor module, Arduino Uno, load cell, and 16 cross 2 LCD. The load cell is transducer that transforms force into electrical output. Load cell have a strain gauge which deforms when pressure is applied to it. Strain gauge generates an electrical signal on deformation. These electrical signals generated by the load cells are in few millivolts, so they need to be further amplified by using HX711 weighing sensor module. This module has HX711 chip which is 24 high precision analog to digital converter. It has two analog input channels namely DT and SCK. So HX711 module amplifies the low electric output of the load cell and this amplified and digitally converted signal is fed into the Arduino to derive the weight. The weight measured using the load cell is displayed on the LCD. First, the load cell is calibrated by placing a known mass on the cell. In this case, we have used 140 grams to calibrate the load cell. Once the calibration is complete, the weight placed on the cell is displayed on the LCD. As Tanya explained the working of the project, now I am going to explain the demonstration. So here you can see that we have filled our liquid in this water which is connected with this load cell. And here is the uh, liquid that we have filled as it is also showing the weight 12 gram. So now as we open the knob of the bottle. So as soon as we are running the script in the Blink SCR as an administrator like and we are accepting the permission, our port is being redirected and it is being redirected to the online Blink portal. So now our device is online and whenever we are opening the device we can check the further configuration. 